Okay, everybody, we're back in Wastelands 3. We've made it to the Ranger headquarters with our Brawler build. We have two Brawlers, as you know, Dr. Nachos and Twin B. You can check it out, 66 hit points. And if you're curious what their build looks like, you can go ahead and check out the previous video. So we've already talked to everybody here. Basically, you get here from El Kodiak right there. Your bulldozer slash gunboat slash tank and so now after that you just got to go in here there's a few things I want to show you <laughs> mainly this annoying alarm sound welcome Rangers I'm Marshal and Darius just... Qu good to meet you Rangers glad to see some friendly fate no idea how you deal with them is your call your okay. base your rules yep we can talk more once we get a little peace and quiet yeah that's right you don't have to be yelling so loud all right we're gonna go ahead and do it. What you basically have to do is you have to get in there and uh, knock some stuff you need. This is impossible to get into. There are other areas over here that are cordoned off. After you go ahead and talk to these guys and you succeed at this next little mini mission, they will allow you to recruit players. So let's go ahead. First thing you wanna do when you do this, make sure everybody has a med kit. And also you can see here, our thunder strike is about to go off really soon this is a really easy encounter what I'm gonna do is get this thing up and we're gonna AE a shock wave on him but it is advised that you stay close together because you're gonna get jumped by um, a bunch of robots there we go and let's uh, move him keep him real close so you know what's going to hit the fan in a moment. And you want to get these guys bunched up if you can. Stay together. Here he comes. There's going to be some dialogue with him. Come on. Come on, little guy. Don't let me fix your wagon. And uh, strange, he's just leaving me there. Uh oh, come on, Wally, come back. So, we do not have sneaky shite or kiss arse and um, none of this here. So, basically, he's gonna go crazy on us. And here comes his bro. Okay, he's just one. So this is a little different. There we go. Here they come. Oh, you leave Dr. Nachos alone. Okay, so we only got uh, two of them because we moved over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to get in here and just pummel these guys. You have two ways to do it. You can just round them up and hit your AE thing because it'll power up soon. Or you can just kite these guys over here. So let's go ahead and smack them. And one... And the two, look at that, smacking him for good damage. Uh, and I got one more smacky on him. There he goes, he's one down. And we still have five APs. We can move one AP here. But this is a good time to go ahead and get this character in here. You can see this, uh, we want to take him down in one round. Like this. Uh-huh, and one more hit, and you're down for the count. And we want to do this because... Keep these two guys together. There we go. He's got a little injury here. But uh, let's go ahead and pop this. Okay. And he's got two APs. End turn. And he's a little out of range, so this is, now you get the first shot on him. And let's let Dr. Nachos just rip his antennas off. Oh, yeah! And he resists the disease, but one more, and you're down! Look at that, hitting for 12. So it is hitting for more than this here, so that's nice. And what do we get? A little just parts of whatever, and just the goods here. That thing's check here. Still skill zero. Okay. So after you've knocked these guys off. Uh, 
We're gonna disable alarm. Install yourself as command. Okay, there we go. Turn the power on. Now the microwave works. And well they're like, Rangers. well done, Rangers. Good to see the place up and running. Yep. Hey, hello. <laughs> now, where were we? Yeah, oh, where were we? as you may know, they've been skulking in the shadows ever since. Okay. But lately, there's been you want us to act out? Okay, he needs to round him up, of Change. course. I'm not. That's so basically, he just wants you to go out home, I mean, and uh, bring some I folks home. We do not are. have barter. Victories hold up in Aspen. Of course. She's having trouble. Why don't you go give her a hand? Okay, that'll Show be the you. quest. That's what I like. And then hear. there you go. You Excellent. get some right. faction. Let's move out. Travel to Denver. That's going to be much, much later. Okay, he's going to step on this. He's going to port him somewhere. I remember his foot was cold. Ooh, that would be a good pet there, the little deer. Okay, so. Let's hit J and let's check out our quest. So here's our quest chain. We have cornered rats. So we're going to do this. There's going to be some armor and goods like this when we get out to uh, there. So uh, Sheriff Daisy's out in Colorado Springs. We did get some skill ups here and attributes. So now comes a big question. Does strength increase your damage you do take a, check that out now we have a couple options in building this character you can either build it with speed if you want to go with invasion which can be good too or if you get um let's see this will two of these will give you one more, more action point but i really wouldn't advise on that it's really down between going for the evasion if you want it or if you want to go for the intelligence, look at the intelligence. Look at how much it gives. 6% crit, 8, 10. So when you get to the end, it'll increase the crit chance by 25, which is really nice. But one really intriguing stat attribute uh, is this luck right here. Because look at what it gives you. Lucky chance. You know, you get lucky evade, lucky crit resist. All these kind of luck things. And this could really play in to the game. It's really a kind of a not so well known stat like if you were to pump this all the way because you'd get extra uh, action point here and there and that would increase your dps significantly look at the crit resist chance evade chance all of these things these lucky things could go up and you get more penetration on top of that which would be good against that so it's a tough choice right now although you really don't have to worry too much about it but um, the strength here will increase your constitution which is important it increases your amount of hit points you see everyone you goes up like this and you're going to get hit in this game so that's going to be something right there so let's take a look at the skills i'm going to add these in if you get brawling all the way up to the top here you get um let's see if we can just do this here and this one basically if you get it to the top here you get um to make the action points cost one this significantly practically doubles your dps if you get this to five it also adds another one shoot it's hard to get in there if you get to five it gives you another combo so basically your combos end at like 5x but if you get to brawling five it'll give you all the way up to 10x so you're going to do some really crazy damage so you really have to decide whether you're going to spend it on this or not Personally, I think it's important to get these things like nerd stuff in there and all that. But one thing you can do uh, is to not spend those right now. Just wait. When you need them, come into the menu and go ahead and add them in. Some will be really important to get. Like I can tell you right now, mechanics is really important to get for this guy. And the reason being is later on you're going to get a like a robot turret. It's somewhere here, this guy here. See, this requires Mechanic 2, and this thing is just totally OP. You, when you get in trouble, you can just drop this guy down, and you drop this down in the middle of somewhere, and it's going to mow everything down. A lot of things, I mean, this, this, this guy can pretty much clear the map, so to speak. So let's go ahead and give him Mechanics like that. Also, lockpicking is good, too, because there's some places 
that you want to lock pick and so you know but this one he's a lock picker what is she and she is got the first aid she's a nerd stuff okay she's a nerd stuff he is the lock picker dude okay let's go back to him and now see the turret is available let's pop the turret down there it's going to be just fantastic to use and let's go back to attributes once again we can wait on these we got one skill point think about how this goes uh, some testing has to be done to really know because it should be strength and strength would be really good to pump here but once again you have a, a real hard choice here because the speed will give you this nice evasion right here and you can start to evade and uh, especially if you're getting attacked first evasion is really important but if you can manage things the strength will I mean you're getting this much boost in melee melee damage is just incredible plus the 10 percent we already have uh, and if you're not sure about how much that is you can always go in and you show stats right here so take a look at our evasion is only nine percent but look at our melee damage at 116 we add we add 35 percent to this and it's just going to be nuts and then you add crits to this it's going to be even more nuts okay so let's take care of that so we got that done you can also go here and there's things here that you'll see and you can examine this see if you get nerd stuff you'll get experience for taking care of this thing right here so we're going to skip on that although we will probably need it later because right now i want to show you around here now that we've killed these guys there's lock pick two this is where this comes into play so yeah i'd like to open this here so let's go ahead and get lock pick two up and he's a lock picker and there we go there's another skill point so now he can go ahead and open up and just loot all the goodies get more just loot everything here all the goodies and it's just more of the same up oh, there we go and this ooh sometimes you never know what you're gonna get in here this is a nice weapon look at that 1319 weapon pretty good um, what do we have here got a mod uh, armor mod nice look at that plus three percent invasion should be one more thing over here here she comes and these armors hang on to these here because when you get other party members like the Quanster you can put it on him so there we go we're done with that Rangers come talk to me when you've got a moment we'll yeah. discuss staffing and recruiting uh, yeah yeah so now it opens up these areas what you can do is you can check these areas out because when talking to these guys they're gonna want you to go ahead and create other characters but you don't necessarily have to do that just need yet to fill you in on a few things rangers oh yeah sure you do now this room here um if you want to you can come into it now there's a slicer dicer in here he's this guy if you repair him he will fight you which may be bad there we go let's take this is a repair kit you can use and you can repair him this is some guy he's just laying on the floor taking a dirt nap and this is a terminal Recall service elevator. Okay, and so the elevator, service elevator. This is a door. You can open the door and put your, your new ride in there. Okay, let's go ahead and pop the locker. Always open up the lockers, but you got to be careful. Cassette. Tired of gridlock? Sick of dodging reckless drivers? Fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car? Consolidated Atomics has the answer. 
Introducing Hermes, the revolutionary vehicle AI that's an expert driver, navigator, and auto mechanic all in one. Hermes remembers your daily commute, gathering up-to-the-minute traffic reports to plot the quickest route to your destination. The AI also takes care of basic maintenance, keeping your vehicle in peak condition. Visit okay. your local dealership for information on a Hermes upgrade kit today. Consolidated Atomics, 21st century solutions for the problems of today. Okay, so guys, the thing is, is be careful in this room. You can't see it, but there is a tripwire, a grenade box, and another tripwire out here. So this one, you have to have the perception in order to get it. So it's you're not seeing it, but it's there. I'm going to just take a look around here. And these are all the bodies uh, that have been laid out here. And good. You're going to need these. Okay, so it's first aid one. Five experience. That's nice. So it's good to get that experience from them. Pick up that five EXP. And this is a uh, so five EXP for each one. So basically, that's it here. So now that you've done that, uh, it's time to go check out the other areas real quick. You have to be careful. There's some dangerous animals here. Still need to talk to you, Rangers. Ah, uh, here you. Uh, don't attack. Don't talk to them until you have taken a look here. This room you got to be careful of because in this room there's some dogs. That's right. This kind of dog. You see that status effect? He's, he spits poison. So razor back. There's another one somewhere around here, but for you two dudes here, this will be serious trouble. I wouldn't deal with them. And there's a, the mess hall here. And these people here, they've been hanging out here. If you let them stay, um, you don't have to kill them. But uh, you have your choice. They're not supposed to be there, but... Please, don't shoot. Who... Who are you? I'm Del, the other soul. Few of us might be able to earn our keep. We're not trained fighters, but not in the Patriot. Don't know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks, and we never set anything off before. Okay, so we just let her stay. You said, yes. See, Wayside uh, is refugee. Well, reputation. In. Oh, and hear that, everyone? We gotta make ourselves useful around here. There's a master key. <laughs> you want to open that up? And there's stuff here. You can use the key. Let's get this pile here. Every time I close my eyes, I see that kid's face. And it's in the book. It's unreadable. And basically that's all it is. There is a body here.
If you get first aid three, you can um, go ahead and uh, get extra XP. What the, what's going and this guy here, he's kind of funny. He, he wants to get out. You can let him out, which is kind of funny. Um, but we'll get to him later anyway. So I want to go ahead and show you guys. You go over here. There is a toaster there. You need level three to fix a toaster. And we don't have level three to fix a toaster. So what you want to do now is go back to these guys and create your next two characters. You can actually pick uh, whatever characters you, Rangers. that they have. And um, good and job, talk to Rangers. This guy. Nice to be hi again, and they are howdy. Should be more recruits arriving okay, soon. So we're gonna get recruits. Ready to basically, tell me how they you want to fill out your squad to get more recruits. Okay, so it shows My who you got advice, lined up. And you can all keep that in mind when you're yep, choosing you get more the recruits I've rounded up. So here you go. Let's go ahead and click this new recruits. You can pick any of these here, or you can make your own. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and make some more characters and we'll be back after we make those characters and after that we're gonna either head out to uh, meet uh, Sheriff Daisy or we're gonna clean up some stuff here at the camp but it's probably better to meet Daisy stay tuned for the next episode